Well, it's time for another gas mask request. And by popular request, I'm going to do the PMG-1 today, most famously known as the Metrocop mask from Half-Life 2. This is the closest mask to the combine mask. So let's see if I can get the filter on it first properly, because the filter intake is weird on this mask. It's kind of a rubber thing rather than an actual screw. So it can be a bit difficult to get filters onto it. Right, there we go. So the filter is threaded into the mask and there's this little strap here, so I'm going to put the mask on, do that strap up to make it really tight, and um, then we'll start putting the air freshener in and testing the mask. As I said in the previous video, I'm not, I've got some sort of throat infection at the moment, so if I'm a bit wheezy, you'll have to forgive me. Um, so as you see, XL valve is at the bottom there, the voice diaphragm is there, it's basically a plastic disc behind a metal grid. Filter intake is there, there's the production numbers on the side there. This is a size 3 and it's from 1984. I find you need PMGs being quite big sizes because they're really tight masks. Also has that weird sort of carry strap um, sort of bit where it's they've reduced the thing so your hair goes through it. So you need to use it with a chemical hood for full protection. So anyway, I'll put it on. Right. So I'll just try and get this strap done up at the back which is quite difficult to do when you can't see. Right, that's that on. Now just tighten it. Okay, that's fully tight on to me. Now I'll spray it and <coughs> we'll give it a few minutes to see if it still works. Right, so as long as I can't smell anything, the mask will be working. I said I'm pretty certain these filters work well because I've done them in lots of tests. So the PMG was designed as a lightweight gas mask for infantry. Um, so, so you can have a mask with the filter on the side. Now there's kind of a few problems with the PMG I want to get into. It's got this bit here where there's actually like meant to be a proper ridge <coughs> to protect your like face and everything and keep the mask to have an actual shape to it. The issue is that uh, where this ridge is, it always seems to clamp on my nose. I can never get it quite comfortable enough with any of these masks I've tried. Uh, so it was designed basically to replace the SHM-41 in combat, which is the military GP5 version that people keep calling the GP5. It's not. The idea is having a filter on the mask rather than on a hose and the filter in a bag. The filters this mask took were a fair bit bigger, they're like chunky GP5 filters, and that's one of the problems with the original issue filters for the mask. Is they're sort of a bit too big, and as a result they put too much weight on this side of the mask like that. Which actually, um, you know, could compromise the seal of the mask and break that section because it's just rubber, there's no metal really on this mask apart from here. So. You've got your flat eyepieces which are good because you can actually put binoculars against them. I still think uh, the SHMS is a much better design for that. But uh, the mask is working after this time it still works. As I said it's got that weird bit there where your hair is exposed. Now an interesting thing is if you type in Metrocop or Civil Protection concept art for Half-Life 2 the original Metrocop concept art did have the guy's hair sticking out there so it was definitely designed on the PMG. But the filter on the Metrocop mask is like there or there, rather than it being a side loader. And it kind of has a helmet bit in the finish frame after, um, you know, rather than the hair being so It's like half the house mask is a helmet, and then the gas mask is on the front of the helmet that you know, fully covers the head with all like the ear bits on it as well. But yeah, the mask is working absolutely fine. So, this didn't last in service for all that long, although I still think people use it across the Warsaw Pact countries. Um, so, that's the Soviet Union, so Russia used it. Uh, both Hungary and Ukraine used it as far as I'm aware. Their version had more holes in the grill there. But a mask came along called the PMG2, also known as the GP5M or GP6, which is basically a GP5 with ear holes and a voice diaphragm. That was used instead because you could either attach a filter directly to the mask or use it with a hose assembly. And it was a lot more practical. Uh, so there you go. This is the PMG. I'm sure that's been a couple of minutes and it is still working. Uh, I can't smell any air freshener. Let me just break the seal of the mask. Yeah, 
<laughs> I can smell that. So, yeah, this filter is working. The mask still works, but it's not the most comfortable thing. I say because it's crushing my nose a bit there. Um, but yep, the mask does still work. As I said in the other version video I did the other day, week, whenever it was. The Chinese M69 gas mask is basically China's attempt at modernising this mask, and I think the Chinese one is better because it's lighter weight um, and uses more you know, like modern type parts. Uh, but there you go, this is the Soviet PMG gas mask and it still works.